Hello everybody and welcome to the class. Are you all ready to do more Japanese today? Well, we have been doing a lot of new things in all these past lessons. We have learnt a lot of things and in some of our previous lessons, we have been doing adjectives and different forms of adjectives and how to join adjectives. So, today we will do how to make negative for I adjectives and Na adjectives. But before that, as you all know, I generally check your assignments. So, that is exactly what we are going to do now. First, we will do the assignments and then actually start on our lesson. So, well, let us see what we have here for you. The first assignment, please open your notes and just see the first assignment that I gave you was match group A with group B. So, you have some words here in column A and then the meanings in column B, you are just supposed to match the words with their meanings. So, well let us see. Shizuka, quiet, Shumatsu, weekend, oi, large number, you have done oki, oki is for big in size, oi is large or big in number, please remember that. Then we have muzukashi which is difficult, tanoshi which is happy, tonari, next to tsumaranai, boring, teine, polite, kashikoi, which is intelligent, hoya hoya, fresh, generally used for fruits and for uh, vegetables, nicely fresh picked fruits, right from the orchard. Hondana, bookshelf and kantan is easy. So, do you find Japanese easy or do you find it tsumaranai? Even if you find it tsumaranai, you have to study, so it is ok. Assignment 2 was write hiragana for the words given below. Well, lot of words were given they have been put there basically for you to practice hiragana that is the important part. So, well the first word is shumatsu and hiragana is given over here. You can practice all the hiragana nicely. Kino and you will notice that O has a bar on top and the reading is u, which states that it is a long sound, as you can see over here with u as well. Tokyo, Tokyo. Now we write Tokyo in English and we pronounce it as t t in English, but in Japanese it is. To, to, kyo, ashita, megane, muzukashi, kiroi. Ki roi iriguchi tsumaranai. So, you have all these words over here, you have the hiragana as well, you can practice writing the hiragana. Now, fill in the blanks with 
interrogative words from the brackets. So, well, the answers are in purple. You can see, I will read it out to you once. Rao san wa doko ni imasu ka? Dare donna. Donna, of course, we will do now in the lesson. Dare means who. Mira san wa ashita nani ikutsu nan. Nan and nani mean the same as we have already done, but nani is used at different places and nan is used with numbers. Ikutsu is how many? Nanji ni gakko e ikimasu ka? Hako ni ikutsu tomato ga arimasu ka? How many? Mina san wa mai nichi dore gurai benkyou shimasu ka? We just did dore gurai in our previous lesson. Ikura is for how much and doko is where. So, dore gurai approximately for how long benkyou shimasu ka? Rao san no uchi kara eki made ikutsu ikura nanpun kakarimasu ka? So, nanpun. Shumatsu ni donata to isho ni picnic e ikimasu ka? Dore of course is choice between two things and doko means where. Tanaka san no Atarashi shatsu wa ikura desu ka? Sha tsu, sha tsu. Heya ni nannin ga imasu ka? How many people? Anata no musume wa nansai desu ka? Nanko is for number, nannin is for person. Jimushitsu wa nankai, nansai, nannin, nanji desu ka? So, nankai, jimushitsu is a place, nankai desu ka? Dono hito wa rao san desu ka? Dono hito is again choice between two or three people. So, maybe pointing and asking which one of these two or three people are or is rao san. Dore hito cannot be used because with dore, kore sore are and dore noun is not used. And then dare hito, again hito will not be used over here because dare itself means who. Then as we always do, we have kanji over here, kanji is in purple. I think and let us see what it is. Okane wa kaba no naka ni arimasu. Bara mo hi mo akai desu. He is fire. Yama no mizu wa oishi desu. Gogatsu wa atsui desu. Ashita doko e ikimasu ka? Tomodachi wa eiga o mimasen. Watashi wa rainen Tokyo e ikimasu. Rao san wa niju kyu sai dewa arimasen. Watashi wa akai skato o kaimashita. It is skato, not skirt. Tanaka san wa mainichi okaa san to 
話します。バラも火も赤いです。So please, you can check your answers. And then we have another assignment for you. Write kanji characters for the words given below. Now, these kanji characters are important. It's a good revision. Some words are written. You know the words. You have done these simple characters. You should be able to write, and of course, for your convenience, hiragana is also given with the kanji characters. So, please try to do it. Kuchi, kino, iriguchi. So, you have been doing these words again and again. I am sure by now you know the words, it is just that you have to remember the. Kanji characters now. Ashita, me, ashi, kuroi, deguchi, hyaku. Then there is another assignment where you have to Read the conversation A and B, read this conversation and then after reading the answer, understanding the answer, you have to make the question over here. So, well, asoko no kisaten no kohi wa dou desu ka? Oishii desu. If it was oishii over here, then the answer would have been hai oishii desu. この本はあなたのですかはい、私のです。この本は誰のですかはい、will not be there。私のです。So, please, you have to read the answer first and then make the question. あなたの学校はどこですか私の学校はあの団地の後ろにあります。昨日何をしましたか小説を読みましたあなたの弟は何歳ですか弟は二十歳です毎日何で会社へ行きますか車で行きます If it was 毎日車で会社へ行きますかはい、車で会社へ行きます。So please read the answer and then make the question. Now there was a small conversation for you in the previous、uh, lesson. This is the conversation. You can now read the conversation and then try to see if These questions you have answered properly. As they are not very difficult, I do not think we need to go over them. You can just do it on your own as you have the conversation right in front of you. Well, we just did this word donna in one of the assignments. We have done this series kore, sore, are, and dore. Kono, sono, ano, and dono. With this, we use noun. Kono hito wa Tanaka san des. Sono hito wa Mariko san des. Ano hito wa gakusei desu. So, well, same series but with a different meaning. We have something over here. Konna, sonna, anna, and 
donna. So, this is what we are going to do here and this we will do a little later. Donna, it is a question word meaning what type of or what kind of, it could be a person, it could be a thing as well. So, well, let us see the conversation here. Rao san wa donna hito desu ka? Rao san wa shinsetsu na hito desu. Instead of shinsetsu, you can use shizuka. Omoshiroi, kirei, kashikoi. So, Rao san wa donna hito desu ka? What kind of a person is he? Rao san wa shinsetsu na hito desu. As we have been doing na adjectives earlier also. Just before a noun, in case of a na adjective, na is going to be used. So, you can replace hito over here with kata also, which is more polite, and shinsetsu here with any of these na adjectives. Now, you can read over here, you can see donna is an interrogative word, a question word and it means what kind of or what type of and generally it is used when you want more information about a person, a place or a thing and it will always be used with a noun. Now, the example over here is Rao san wa donna hito desu ka? What kind of a person is Mr. Rao? Rao san wa omoshiroi hito desu. Mr. Rao is an interesting person. So, well, you can practice like this. Donna hito desu ka? Can you tell me? Tanaka san wa donna hito desu ka? You can use any of these adjectives over here that we have done so far. Tanaka san wa omoshiroi hito desu. Tanaka san wa shinsetsu na hito desu. Tanaka san wa shizuka na hito desu. Tanaka san wa teine na hito desu. So, any of these adjectives you can use. Don na hito desu ka? Well, we have also done in one of our previous lessons earlier before adjectives, I think, mashita and masen deshita. So, well, you can look at these pictures and ask your partner what they did yesterday, last week, day before and practice past and past negative form of the verb. Last week, day before, yesterday, last month, they are all time expressions. So, you can use these time expressions with past form of the verb. Now, let us see what is happening in the first picture over here. Of course, this gentleman over here is having his medicine. So, what should the question be? Well, kesa kusuri wo nomimashita ka? Hai, kusuri wo nomimashita. Kino kusuri wo nomimashita ka? So, well, if he did not have kino kusuri wo nomimasen deshita. Now, the second one is Kino shinbun o yomimashita ka? Hai, shinbun o yomimashita because he is reading. Now, you have the kocha over here, the cup is full. So, well, maybe someone did not have. So, asa kocha o nomimashita ka? Iie nomimasen deshita. Then, we have ototoi. Pool e ikimashita ka? Yes, they all went to the pool. So, hai, pool e ikimashita. Pool de asobimashita ka? Hai, asobimashita. Or if they did not play, asobimasen deshita. And let us see what they have in the end. Benkyo suru. Kino, benkyo shimashita ka? Hai, benkyo Shimashita. And if you did not do, well, benkyo shimasen deshita. So, you can practice your verbs as well. 
Now, as I had promised, we will do adjectives and how to make negative for I and na adjectives. Listen to this audio conversation and see how much you understand. Rao san, Indo wa ima atsui desu ka? Hai, atsui desu. Fuyu wa dou desu ka? Atsui desu ka? Samui desu ka? Fuyu mo atsui desu. Minami Indo wa amari samuku arimasen. Ja, ichinen jiu atsui desu ka? Hai, minami Indo wa atsui desu. Demo kita Indo wa juni gatsu to ichi gatsu wa samui desu. Ah, so desu ka. So, well, how much did you understand actually? I am sure most of it is understood except for maybe a couple of new words, new vocabulary over here. So, I will read it out to you once and then explain. Mira and Rao. Mira san to Rao san no kaiwa desu. Rao san, Indo wa ima atsui desu ka? Hai, atsui desu. Fuyu wa dou desu ka? Atsui desu ka? Samui desu ka? Fuyu mo atsui desu. Minami Indo wa amari samuku arimasen. Ja, ichinen jiu atsui desu ka? Hai, minami Indo wa atsui desu. Demo kita Indo wa juni gatsu to ichi gatsu wa samui desu. Ah, so desu ka? So, well, this is very simple. They are talking about the weather. Tenki. Tenki. Weather. Rao san. Indo wa ima atsui desu ka? Hai. It is hot. Fuyu wa dou desu ka? What about winter? Atsui desu ka? Samui desu ka? Is it hot or is it cold? Fuyu mo atsui desu. Winter is also hot. Minami Indo wa amari samuku arimasen. South India is not that cold. Ja, ichinen ju atsui desu ka? All through the year it is hot. Hai, minami Indo wa atsui desu. Demo, but kita Indo wa Juni gatsu, December to January wa samui desu. Oh really, is that so? That's the conversation over here. We'll do samuku arimasen, amari and ichinen, ju very soon. This is in the script. You can see. And now we have the explanation for you. This is how you would talk in English. So, it is not a literal translation, it is just what you would say in English. Now, we have done joining two adjectives, I adjectives and I adjectives, I adjectives and na adjectives, na adjectives and I adjectives, na adjectives and na adjectives. Now, we will do negative of I adjective today. So, there is a small conversation over here. Nihon wa oki desu ka? Iie, nihon wa oki ku arimasen. So, well, I will show you how it is made. Akai, takai, samui, nagai, oi, shi. Sai. So, what do you have to do for a negative? If you have to make negative for I adjectives, well, you just need to remove this I from here, the last I, as in case of I adjectives, and put ku instead. So, akaku ari masen. Takaku ari masen. Samuku arimasen, nagaku arimasen, 
おいしくありません。And 小さくありません。赤くありません means it is not 赤い。Not 高い。Not 寒い。Not 長い。Not おいしい。And not 小さい。So please, this is how it is made. We have the conversation over here. You can practice it. 日本は大きいですかいいえ、日本は大きくありません。Now, you can replace Nihon with any of these nouns over here. Ringo kurma doresu. Doresu is dress and hon or any other noun that you want to and replace this I adjective with any I adjective that you want, but it should be used properly. So, for example, Ringo wa おいしいですかいいえ、おいしくありません。車は高いですかいいえ、高くありません。ドレスは安いですかいいえ、安くありません。本は面白いですかいいえ、面白くありません。And over here, It is a little different. Kurma wa takai desu ka? So you want to say it is takai or it was takai, but it was it is not as benri or as convenient as I thought it would be. So well, kurma wa takakute, this form you have done, and takakute benri de wa arimasen. So well, this is how you will make for. I adjectives. Now, you see a lot of pictures over here. Let us see what it is. Atarashiku arimasen. So, this is an old system probably. Atarashi desu ka? Iie, atarashiku arimasen. Tanaka san. Tanaka san isogashi desu ka? Iie, isogashiku arimasen. Ima atsui desu ka? Atsuku arimasen. Ima samui desu. Then, these two are busy with their exam. Shiken. Mondai. Mondai is a problem. Mondai wa muzukashi desu ka? はい、むずかしいです。いいえ、むずかしくありません。then、仕事、work, working at office。仕事は面白いですかいいえ、面白くありません。and then we have this cute looking girl、かわいい女の子、with a huge daikon。Daikon is a radish. So, daikon wa chisai desu ka? Iie, chisaku arimasen. Daikon wa oki desu. Now, we did for I adjectives just now. So, let us also do for na adjectives. Practice negative form of na adjectives. So, well, positive is Mariko san wa shinsetsu desu. And then, Mariko san wa shinsetsu desu ka? Hai, shinsetsu desu. Simple answer in the positive. If Mariko san is not shinsetsu, then what? Iie, shinsetsu de wa arimasen. はい、親切です。はい、親切です。But in the negative, いいえ、親切、親切ではありません。
Deva Arimasen. Now, do you remember how Deva Arimasen was used in our first and second lessons when we introduced the negative for this? Well, hone this, hone this, hone this, hone Deva Arimasen. Over here, you can write hone Deva Arimasen. It is not a book, it is a book. Shinsetsu des. Shinsetsu dewa arimasen. She is not a very kind person. So, na adjectives and nouns follow a similar pattern. Please remember that. Now, over here, you can replace Mariko san with any of this vocabulary, any of these nouns, and Shinsetsu can be replaced with any of this na adjectives. Of course, there is this also and there is deva arimasen. So, I will just practice one with you and then you can practice it with your partner. Oksan wa genki desu. Oksan wa genki desu ka? Hai genki desu. Iie genki deva arimasen. So, well you can do it in a similar manner with your partner. These are words in hiragana. Now, this pattern we have done ringo wa takai desu, ringo wa amai desu. How do you join two i adjectives with kute over here? So, now ringo wa takai desu, ringo wa amai desu, ringo wa takakute, amaku arimasen. So, we can join this negative over here with this. It is takai and it is not even tasty or sweet actually over here. Well, you can replace ringo again with kuruma or ega or any other noun that you want. Kuruma wa takakute benri de wa arimasen as we did in our previous slide. Then ega wa nagakute. Sumaranai des. It is very, very long and not at all interesting. Now, you can practice this. There is a picture for you over here. You can see this gentleman, Tanaka san, sitting and it is very, very noisy. There is this phone ringing which is disturbing him. There is this picture where two ladies are talking and that is also disturbing him with a rajikase and the music ongaku is also very, very urusai. So, well, shizuka na basho desu ka? Iie, shizuka na basho de wa arimasen. Urusai basho desu. So, shizuka is quiet and urusai is noisy, which is not pleasant to the ear. Ongaku is pleasant to the ear. So, it is not urusai, but where there is lot of noise which is not pleasant to the ear, it is urusai. Then there is another picture for you where we have sensei and kakusei, juji han and what happens over here? Krasu wa omoshiroku arimasen ka? Iie class wa omoshiroi desu. Class is very, very interesting. Why? Because everybody is smiling and enjoying the class. Now, what happens over here? This is a very, very simple expression. You bang into someone, you say sumimasen, and then you are very kind and you pick up the bag which has fallen and you give it to the lady and the lady will say something. Let us see what she says and what happens. Well, they bang into each other, get hurt and then smimasen. And then what does the lady have to say? Well, gomenasai. So, it is actually gomenasai also means sorry and sumimasen also means sorry, 
and when you say gumen asai then you are being extra polite and you are also apologizing for what you have done. And then dozo is, dozo is an action actually and whatever action you are making, you expect the person to perform that activity. So, over here he picks up the bag and he offers the bag to her and says dozo and then what does the lady have to say? Well, sumimasen, arigato gozaimasu. So, thank you very much. So, this is a simple expression. These are simple expressions used every day in Japan. Sumimasen, gomenasai, dozo, arigato gozaimasu. Now, as we always do, we are going to do kanji today also, simple kanji characters, not very complicated. These words you know, you have done these words and we will try to learn them as kanji characters. So, let us see. Kuni, Kuni means country. Let us see how many strokes there are. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and then 8. So, it is an 8 stroke character and in a box. Now, how it has come into being? Well, it is very simple. A man, a king in fact, tries to keep all his treasures in a closed place, okay. stands up and tries to protect all his treasures and thus country is closed. Okay. So, this is kuni for you. I will make it once again. One more time. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8 over here. Hi. Then, as you can see, it is an 8 stroke character. Then we have karada. Karada means body, human body. So, well, as you know, this is the character for person. Hito. So, well, 1, 2, karata. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. So, it is a 7 stroke character. Well, now we have another one for you which is Yasumi. Very similar. Generally, we make a mistake with Yasumi and Karada. Well, over here Hito and then just Ki, a person sitting under the tree like this and relaxing. Is it okay? So, that is how Yasumi has come into being. It is a six stroke character. Now, the last one is Nen. Nen means year 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 over here. So, it is a 6 stroke character. Now, why Nen? Because what happens is as we are we were all agrarian society earlier, once a year you sow your grain. So, it takes a certain amount of time to grow to mature and then again next year you sow it at a certain time. Thus, it is associated with grain and that is how it has come into being. I will just show it to you. Ichi ni san yon go and roku. So, this is the correct stroke order. Please remember this order. This is very, very important. Then we have kuni over here. It is an 8 stroke character as you can see. This is how it is made. 
please try to learn this way. Now, you can see this man standing like this the king and trying to save his jewels from being stolen away. So, that is how kuni is made. And there is yasumi for you, a man sitting under the tree and relaxing. So, this is how yasumi is made. Please remember this stroke order. Now, there are some new words with kanji characters, the ones that we have just done. Jintai and the meanings are given over here, please. You can, you can read the meanings. Jintai, Daitai, Kyujitsu, Holiday. Hito yasumi, a short break. Yasumi chu, shop is closed. Sannen se, chu goku, tai koku major power. Now, we have hiragana as we have been doing all along. You have to learn the stroke order ma, mi, mu. It is very clearly given and you can make it exactly in this manner. Me and mo in the end. So, please remember mo is like this right till here. You have to take it right till the top. And then you have them all in one for you to memorize. Now, you will see over here that the stroke order points this side and the point the tip of the dot is on top. This happens when you use a brush. You just put the brush on the paper and lift it. So, the tip will always be over here at this point. Well, now you have vocabulary, the vocabulary that we did in our lesson. Haru, spring, natsu, summer. You can also repeat after me. Aki, autumn, fuyu, winter. Kita, North, Minami, South, Ippo, One Step, Isogashi, Busy, Urusai, Noisy. So, you can also practice at home, but please practice loudly. And as last time, we just started doing proverbs, which is kotowaza in Japanese. Kotowaza. Kotowaza. Well, you can see this Kame san and you can see a long, 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 long michi, which is a road. So, well, even a long journey begins with a single step. Senri no michi mo ippo yori. 
sen is 1000, re is the measurement, how you measure distance, no michi is road, mo ippo yori, you have to take the first step even for a very, very long journey. So, your long journey will always begin somewhere with a first step. So, well, our journey also of learning Japanese, it has already begun, we have already done quite a few. We have taken this one step, this single step long, long back and we have been doing a lot of things. We will do lots more and lot of things we will learn in class, but for that you really, really have to work hard. Well, now my work ends over here, you have to do the assignments. There are quite a number of exercises that you have to do. The first one is match group A with group B. These are sentences, broken, make good sentences. Then kanji characters, write hiragana and correct reading for it. You have the words over here, write kanji characters. Then you have blanks over here, I want you to write verbs, verbs that we have done previously. Then kanji is given, meaning is given, match the two. And of course, tick the correct kanji character. And again, a similar exercise which you did last time, make proper questions to fit the answers given below. So, you need to read the answers first and then read the question and then put whatever word fits in over here. And also this time, there is something different for you. Well, there is a passage over here, I want you to put particles in these blank spaces. So, please you will be practicing your particles as well, do that. So, well with this, with this lot of assignment and homework, I leave you here today. Practice all of this at home, do all that we have done so far, revise loudly, revise with your partner and then we will do something new in our next class. Till then, mata ashta or whenever we meet, mata aimashou. Arigato.